guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. And um, I'm not sure, a few weeks ago, I think, in one of my videos, I had showed um, one of my dogtail cactuses here. And someone made a comment, oh, I see that the ends of your cac dogtail cactus are growing out thinner than the tops, like mine was. And um, uh, without really thinking, I made the comment, well, I mean, I thought about it, but I made the comment, um, yeah, I, I believe that's their natural growth pattern. And um, then after I got up and was looking at these guys again, I realized that she was probably talking about this really, really skinny long growth. And what I was referring to, which I have a couple similar um, growing cactuses here. The peanut one here is a little bit different, but it's still um, a similar enough type that I would like to show. But these type of cactuses, dog tail, um, rat tail, mouse tail, monkey tail, etc., their normal growth pattern is to grow out um, thinner on the tips. You can see like this, the, the tips get, get skinnier. And then as it grows, it fills out. That is absolutely the normal pattern. On these guys, um, like this, for example, this is a healthy, healthy stem. The tips are just a bit, just a bit smaller. But on the really, really, really long ones like this, this is not normal. And um, I haven't been able to find a ton of information on what it's likely to be. Um, it seems like the consensus is that plants that are grown indoors are much more likely to have these really long um, skinny tips and plants that are grown outdoors um, generally don't don't have that as much um, but other than that I haven't found a lot of reasoning for it both of these guys came this way to me um, and so this hasn't happened in my care so I am not able to be super certain about the conditions they were in but what I believe to be happening is I believe this is just etiolation so not getting enough light and while they should grow out thinner at the at the tips and then slowly fill in that should be very slow it should be you know an inch or two of of a slightly smaller space and then a nice healthy um stem below and or leaf below and with these guys when they keep sending out this really really skinny um top this doesn't fill out this just kind of stays this way and a lot of times they i saw i had a piece here that fell off but um, a lot of times they end up falling off. Here it is. They end up kind of shriveling and and getting dislodged, um, which one of these got a suitcase dropped on it, and I can't believe it is it is in as great of shape as it is. Huh? And so quite a few of the little the little tips were broken off on this one. You can see this guy's kind of bent over. And um, but I believe they were light deprived and um, just this is just stretching or etiolation. So this is just stretching to reach the light and they don't um, they don't put a lot of energy into getting fat. They're just trying to get more light. And so they just grow, 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 grow with this little uh, mouse tail cactus. You can see a couple. I'm trying to remember what the light conditions were with this guy for a while, but it was a way um, just not in an ideal condition. And you can see that a few of these tips are um, see having this smaller. And when you can kind of tell is um, they'll sometimes they get a little band around them like this. And then the tips do do plump out a little bit. But a lot of times they just stay really thin. Um, like this. Here's one that has more of a, more of a band. It, 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 it's, it's smaller where it attached and that doesn't really expand. And then this top is slowly starting to plump out a little bit, but this isn't ever going to change. This is going to stay, um, restricted, so to speak, if that makes sense. And I believe, like I said, I have to keep, keep repeating myself. I think it's just, um, not having enough light. And so these guys are in really bright, um, south windows now. They're epiphytes, so they don't need as intense of light as a lot of um, other succulents do, but they still really, really like their light. And I think these guys just hung in a store for a long time or something or um, away from light. And I got them while we were traveling. Um, I love checking out nurseries when we travel and we pretty much only travel for doctors these days but I get to go to some big cities and uh, we've been to Arizona and Seattle a lot of times 
and um, for doctors. And so I always, I always try and um, bring a plant or two home if I find something exciting. And so these guys were pretty healthy other than the tips, which isn't a huge deal because they can grow out. And well, they don't, they don't get better, but the plant is healthy and the plant will continue to grow healthier. And so what you can do, first off, I want to ask everyone that has a dog tail cactus or, um, rat tail, mouse tail, any of these kind of, um, cacti that grow out like this or succulents that grow out like this. And please leave comments below about what you think this long growth is. If you have had this happen, do, um, do you think it is from not enough light? Do you think it's from not enough moisture? What are, what are your um, opinions on that? Um, because I am feeling quite certain that it is light. Um, and, but I'm not finding, um, info on that. I'm not finding confirmation, um, really on that. So I would like to hear from you guys and see what you have found with yours. Have your plants um, done this? And if so, was it just reaching for light as I suspect? Um, once I have these guys in my care for a bit of a longer period of time, I'll be able to tell um, a bit better because I will know what conditions they've received. It's kind of hard when you receive a plant um, in this condition. But all of the new growth that has happened, I've had this guy for Hmm. I'm guessing maybe four months now and all of the new growth that has come out has been healthy and um, a lot of it has been from the base here. A lot of this is new. A lot of these sprouts are new and it's plenty healthy and it's gr not growing in that deformed kind of pattern. So um, really quick, what can you do when this does happen? Well, kind of the best thing to do in my opinion is to just pinch them off and you can just take take right at the tip and just pinch them and you can actually plant these. These will, um, if the one that I pinched off earlier, yeah, let me show you this. Sorry. This one here that was falling off had already started to put out some little roots here. You can actually plant these stems. Um, they won't most likely plump out themselves, although when they're disconnected from the restricted um, kind of tip right there. Sometimes they can plump out and, and grow into a normal type sized, um, plant, but you can plant these. And if nothing else, they will often shoot out new, healthy, fatter shoots from the base. And so you can try it that way. And this just kind of will clean up your plant and allow it to not, to, to have a, a healthier, more normal, more normal growth pattern. So you can see this guy got broke off um, I had mentioned this guy got a suitcase set on him and actually I think it's this one that got the suitcase set on him because I'm seeing the, the, the tips broken off here. And so it sent out new little shoots, um, out of the top of this tip, which is what they'll do. If you pinch them off like this, unless the growth is extremely, I just pinched this guy off and he was almost, there's almost not even a wound where I pinched him off there. I don't know if this is showing up for you guys, but it was so restricted. Whereas with Maybe this guy, for example, see how it's pretty, um, the growth pattern is pretty even. So if I pinch this tip, which I'll just do right now to show you, we're leaving a little wound here on top, see? Which is fine, but it will most likely either send out um, side shoots from the tip here, or occasionally they, they keep growing um, more, more normally, but... That is the only real tip I know because um, when they when the tips get restricted like this, the this little collar I'm going to call it. There's a name for it that I'm spacing on, but when they get kind of a little band here of restriction, it it rarely um, rarely remedies itself. It rarely is able to um, go back to a normal growth pattern. But you don't have to pinch these off, off either. It's just a matter of um, the look that you like and, and what you're going for. But um, a lot of times they get unsightly. And then because this, this point never um, expands, the nutrition is, um, is restricted from the flow of the plant. And so this tip just can never quite um, recover, basically. And so removing them can be advantageous.
and then you can plant these guys these little tips if you want and see if if they'll root up for you but um, the other thing that got brought up was the roots um, the air roots that are coming out of the tips as you can see here um, there's not a ton on these guys But you can see, um, typically these type of roots form on the ends, not um, not down the base of the plant. However, there are two different two different things that can be going on. If these guys aren't getting enough water, um, because they're epiphytes, they get more water. They grow on trees um, in a slightly um, more moist and shady environment than many succulents. They, if they don't get enough moisture, they will put out air roots um, trying to get more moisture. And in this, um, if that's what's going on, misting them or raising your humidity levels, putting them over a rock tray with some water in it, etc., can help that. But also, these guys are vining cactuses naturally, and so they send out these little root hairs as the stems get longer just to attach to other things to climb. And so, um, if that, if the the hairs that you're seeing are just their um, climbing roots, their their um, sorry, I lost my thought for half a second there. Uh, my son just came in and I had to respond to him, and my my brain just went off. Um, if they're shooting out these roots on the on the ends that are getting longer. A lot of times that's just their climbing little tentacles that, that latch on to things. They're not actually roots and they're not absorbing um, nutrition. If your plant is getting big enough and heavy enough that it needs to climb on something, then offering it something to climb on is a great, a great option. If it's just fine and it doesn't need to climb, you can either leave those, leave those little roots in place or you can pinch them off. They're not going to, they're not going to hurt the plant um, if you if you just pinch these little roots off, they can, um, in, on this plant, it's really not noticeable, but on some of them, they can really send out a lot and it can get kind of unsightly um, and people worry about removing them, but there really is very little um, harm to the plant removing them as long as it isn't needing to climb um, on something, as long as the weight of the plant isn't, isn't. too much but for this guy I believe these roots are um, moisture related or just the tips um, getting nutrition restricted and trying to send out some roots to to help themselves if this were outside this branch would be leaning down on the ground more and this tip might be able to root into the ground and survive even though it's not getting the nutrition that it needs from the mother leaf because of the restriction here. So, um, let me know, um, you guys that have had these plants, please let me know in the comments below when your plant starts sending out these little really, really skinny um, shoots and if you've been able to work out if there is any correlation between light and um, them sending out these really skinny spikes because that is that is what I am um, highly highly suspecting just from what I know of their growth pattern and these plants and um, yeah without even thinking I just said oh that's normal that's normal for them to grow out thinner on the tips and then get fatter as time goes on but not not this this crazy long um, not this crazy long, really, really pencil thin growth. Not that. That's not um, healthy growth by any means. Alrighty, guys. I hope this was helpful a little bit. And please, please, please leave um, any of your thoughts and experiences about these guys and their growth patterns in the comments below because I would love, love, love to hear them. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and happy growing.